possible. Who am I to deny? Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Great, beautiful West afternoon. I said I would be live at 12, and it is 12 5 or 6. And I uh, was supporting my other friend doing a live, so. Sorry about it. Thank you for Grace. Thank you. Uh, great, happy, beautiful, blessed afternoon. Happy uh, Lupus Awareness Month. Thank you for being here for my Lupus Lessons Minute. My name is Tenille Stewart. I help women who've been diagnosed with lupus go from confused and discouraged to healed, hopeful, and in control of the medical narrative. And I really do appreciate you being here to learn a little something about lupus today. So, the last, today's May 4th. So we learned four things. Um, the first day we talked about SLE, systemic lupus erythematosus, um, which is basically what lupus is. It's uh, the standard lupus, I guess. And it is, your immune system is confused and is attacking your body. Today, as a loopy myself of 19 years, I am in all kinds of pain. My joints are on fire. And I realized that um, when people don't feel well, or at least it used to be when I don't feel well, didn't feel well, I used to say, like, just be repeating it in my head, like, this hurts, this hurts, this hurts, that hurts, that hurts, that hurts. Or like, ruminating about it in my brain and uh, the pain is much less, in my opinion, when I am not just thinking about the pain. So, as much as I would have liked to lay it in this comfortable bed that I have, hey, Jean Jean, hey, girl, I realized that I was on my book club this morning. I was on two of my friends' podcasts this morning. I mean, like, listen to them. I was, you know, I'm still doing this call, even though... I, I would love to be laying down. I just also know that if I was laying down, I would just be thinking, wow, my knees hurt. Wow, my fingers hurt. Wow, like, I'm distracted and I like it. Hey, Darren. Hello, the icon himself. So day one was talking about what is systemic lupus. What, and then day two was talking about what is discoid lupus, which is skin-related lupus. Um, then yesterday was drug-induced lupus, which is certain pharmaceuticals that you take that will cause you to have lupus-like symptoms until you stop taking them and it could last longer. No promises. So today, May 4th, the fourth day of Lupus Awareness Month, we will be talking about lupus anticoagulant LA. It is a type of antibody produced by the immune system that attacks phospholipids, which are a key component of cell membranes. LA's are one of the three types of malfunctioning antibodies called antiphospholipids APAs. APAs can cause antiphospholipid syndrome, an autoimmune disease that makes the body be more likely to form blood clots, um, which I knew nothing about. I, I literally just thought blood clots were a curse word my uncle used because they're too many things. I had no idea that that was like a thing um, growing up. And then when I was uh, in my first, mm -mm, not my first, probably my second major flare up, I got the most serious blood clot and in my leg. And my leg will never be the same. If you see pictures of me wearing like shorts or bathing suit or something, you'll see that uh, the bottom half of my leg is darker than the rest of my leg. And there is, I went to so many different treatments to take care of that and it has never worked because the blood vessels in that leg are forever changed. When I went to get a, um, when I went to get a, a, the ultrasound, I guess, of my veins to see if I had a blood clot, because I was in a lot of pain and I couldn't explain what it was. Now I know the feeling of having a blood clot, but at that time, I didn't know what it was. And they, the guy who was doing the Doppler on my leg, the like ultrasound stick on my leg, he gasped. 
and you know the people who are I don't know what they're called the techs that do that part of it they're not allowed to tell you they're not allowed to diagnose you they can only perform the exam and then they give the results to the doctor they go over the results of the doctor the doctor is supposed to tell you so I knew we were looking for blood clots and this man gasped at my leg he said oh and I said oh what I'm by myself. I'm, this is during a long hospital stay. I'm like, oh, what happened? He's like, oh, um, I'm not allowed to talk about it. But the look in his eyes let me know that I had a huge blood clot. And the doctor even confirmed later that I had a huge blood clot. They said I would be on blood thinners for the rest of my life. Um, blood thinners come with a whole you know, problem of their own. Blood thinners, you can bleed out easily depending on what um, type of blood thinner you're on. And especially back then, they didn't have the newer types they have now. Um, so, I know that some of my loopies are on blood thinners, or even some other people are on blood thinners. Um, you might want to get checked to see if you do have, um, you know, APA or LA. If you might have, there's three kinds of these um, anticoagulants. So you might have one of them. And it'd be nice if you could go check them out. I still, after that huge major blood clot, they still didn't think that it would be a reoccurring thing. And little did they know, I had several more. And uh, two years ago, I had a stroke. I had, uh, which is a blood clot that makes it to your brain or, you know, lungs or whatever. So, yes, I do have that trait, and my father and my father's sister, Kay, both passed away from blood clots. So, it is a huge risk uh, factor in my life, and I am not on any blood thinners right now. I treat my blood naturally, like I... I eat a lot of blood thinning foods. I take supplement myself with turmeric every day, uh, which is wonderful and I love it. The only issue with that is if I am stressed or if I am sick already or whatever, I could slack and then I put myself at risk for not having blood that is thin enough uh, to not collect clots. So, I don't know. Keep me on... Uh, Keep me on task, y'all. Remind me, hey, did you take your uh, <laughs> you take your blood thinners today? I don't take pharmaceutical blood thinners. I do take things, eat things, drink things that thin my blood. And uh, yeah, I'm, I uh, I don't know if I've ever told anybody about this because it didn't really occur to me. Uh, but yeah, I uh, do have this trait. I got the LA, the lupus anticoagulant, um, and it's not fun. It's not great. I also am pretty well versed in uh, what it feels like to have a blood clot. I can uh, kind of touch it. Um, it's actually like centralized pain in wherever the area is that the blood clot is. And then uh, I hate saying cold or flu symptoms, but that's kind of what it is. It's like you're, like I usually get like some chest pain and I just feel like really heavy maybe. And uh, like, like when you have, Flu, like just like knocked out, like I can't do stuff, and and the scent, the pain, whatever it is, I'm like, oh, we gotta talk to somebody, we gotta go somewhere. So, I hope that you guys stay healthy and you never have a clot in your life. Um, also, I hope you do get tested for the clotting factors that could be in your blood. You have no idea. It's just going back to life, all regular regular, huh? It's not just us. Either the Loopies. It's Alina Williams. Uh, you know, she's a pro tennis star. She's had clots and, and she, you know, had to deal with those things. So, oh, you're welcome, Jean Jean. Thank you so much for being here. You are a real one. You are always on the live. I hope you're having a wonderful, beautiful day. Uh, I will be back probably tomorrow because I can't stay away from y'all. And I didn't realize how many uh, lessons I wanted to teach. But here we are. And uh, I hope you all have a lovely, lovely rest of your day. Thank you so much. Bye.